In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how I use flatten transparency in Illustrator when I'm working on a project. And so far I've been using transparency in this design. Now I want all of my colors to be flat. I wanna remove the transparency and yet have the colors look the same. This will just make recoloring this artwork more predictable and it will be more flexible for client work. So all of these kind of light wine colored dots these are actually eggplant <laughs> with multiply and 54% opacity. And this is something going on with a lot of the motifs in this file. So let's start with this color. To create this color, I'm gonna get the background color, which is a solid color, and put that eggplant color with the same multiply blending mode that I've selected from here and just make sort of a dummy copy off to the side. And then I'll take these two circles and select them and then go up to Object, Flatten Transparency. And here I'll leave all of the defaults as they are. It doesn't matter for this art because it's vector art. And then I'll click OK. Now we can see the two circles are now part of a group. I'm going to ungroup them and just show you what happened here. Illustrator has now given me sort of cut apart art like this with flat colors. So there's no transparency in any of this art. And here is my color. Let's look at it, no transparency, that's great. So with this selected, I can come down to my swatches panel and add a global swatch of that right there. Next, I wanna find that color where it exists in my file. So let's come here. It's either one of these. And then go up to the top control bar here where we have select similar objects. And there's a menu here that allows you to choose which parameter you're searching by. In this case, rather than saying fill color, I want this to say appearance because I wanna get everything that has not only um, that eggplant color applied, but also that same exact transparency setting. And once you check this box here, then you just come up and click the button. Oops, sorry, click this button. This is confusing. <laughs> and click it and you'll see, nope, click this button. This is so interesting how I even I get confused by that UI design. All right, so now we can see that everything with that maroon color, if I back out here, you can see all of these circles are selected. And these objects look the same, but they've got something different going on. What I wanna do is just change this to that color and make sure that I come in and remove this, make it 100% and remove the multiply blending mode, set it to normal. And now I have fixed that color and removed that transparency. Now I have another object here that's got a little bit of transparency on it. So I definitely want to work with this and get its color replaced. So I've got a copy of it. I'm going to go ahead and take this and apply the background color to it. Make sure that it has no transparency applied before I do that. Okay, so this is 100% of the background. This is the lighter purple eggplant color sitting on top of it, creating this nice in-between tone here. That's what all of these are here. So first things first, let's flatten transparency. I'll select those two objects, go up to Object, Flatten Transparency, and click OK. Then ungroup this, and there it is. That's the solid color that I want, and I'll create it as a new swatch here. Click OK, there it is. And now I'll come over to these bean shapes here, and let's see if I can hit the right button this time. It looks like I got it. Let me show you where this is in the menu. We can go over to the select menu and select same. And then here you can select from this menu, just like on the other menu. So I'll choose appearance and we'll see what we get there. I'm gonna look at this in outline mode again, command or control Y, just so we can see how many objects are affected by that. And now I will apply that new color that I got. And then of course, remember to take away the transparency setting, make it 100% and normal. And now we've changed that. So one thing that can help you in this process, because we have so many objects in here, is to use the document info panel. I keep mine docked here because I use it a lot. So let's go ahead and select everything in the file, Commander Control A, 
and we're going to get a readout here of what type of objects we have. You need to come over to this little options menu and make sure that you have objects checked so we can see. And then it tells us all about, you know, the number of anchor points and paths. Let's see, where are we right here? Transparent objects. There we are. So there's 29 transparent objects. I think we started out with 50 something before I started this video, I took a look. So you can kind of gauge your progress here and find, make sure you don't have any left by the end of the process. All right, so those are just a few tips on using flattened transparency in Adobe Illustrator to replace motifs in your art that have transparency and make them flat color. My name is Laura Coyle. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and give it a like if it was helpful to you. I teach Adobe Illustrator on my website, lauracoylecreative.com, and of course here on YouTube. So stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching.